It has long been seen as an image of man's universal anguish, a figure screaming on a bridge under an angry sky. And there we have it. But now the British Museum says we may have got that wrong. And it's all down to the words on a rare black and white print of the scream made by Edvard Munch in 1895. So here we have the title, Geschrei, in large letters, scream. Underneath he says, Ich fühlte das große Geschrei durch die Natur. I felt a huge scream through nature. And he's blocking off the sound of that noise with his hands over his ears. In other words, the figure's not screaming at all. It's nature around him. The figure is holding the hands to the ears as though blocking off the noise of the scream. And the fact that her mouth is, mouth is in the shape of a, an O or an R sound doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean at all that he's actually screaming. It's what he's hearing, and it's kind of shaking his whole body. You don't see that rather, you know, squiggly line underneath. It's not boldly inscribed in a way that would capture your attention. What captures your attention is the design. A design that's been widely copied, so if you've got the wrong end of the stick, you're not alone. Here's Homer Simpson having a go. Macaulay Culkin paying his own tribute. Political cartoonists lampooning the Prime Minister have found the scream irresistible. And there's even an official scream emoji. Do you think it would have bothered him that so many people down the years have had their own interpretation of that as a man screaming? The fact that, that it's known all over the world, he would have... He would have been pleased that, that, that his image had that amount of impact, yes. The museum hopes to set the record straight with its exhibition of Monk's work opening next month. He may have been misunderstood. If so, it's a mistake that has only made his artwork more iconic. Nina Nanar, News at 10.